Hi, we're all starting to become more in tune with the lingo around cryptocurrencies. And as we go on our journey, I will be sharing you more of these with you. Today, we're going to look at two, FOMO and FUD. Huh? You say? Well, let's see what they are. Hi, welcome. If you're new here, I'm Jamie Brown of The Hedge Teacher. This channel is about sharing information to help build your financial intelligence and awareness around money matters. And I'm passionate about educating and inspiring people in wealth and wellness. You see, to be whole, you need your health with your wealth. There's a new type of money master in the world today, and that's you. You know, times have changed. You have to get on the same page. It's a new way of thinking, of being, and of understanding. Join me on this journey now. So, what is FOMO and what is FUD? Two terms you should become familiar with. If you're going to be investing and trading in cryptocurrencies, you need to understand these two terms. FOMO, F-O-M-O, -O, is the fear of missing out. The noun of it is a state of mental and emotional strain caused by the fear of missing out. And it's not only associated with cryptocurrencies. It was first identified by Dr. Dan Herman in 1996. He published the first academic paper on the subject in 2000. This phenomenon is more common than you may think. In fact, studies have shown that 51% of teenagers actually experience anxiety when they are not sure where their friends are and what their friends are doing. Whilst this is nothing new, the term FOMO became popular with the rise in social media. FOMO is something that marketers are taking advantage of in order to increase sales because they can make consumers feel like they might miss out on something if they do not try and buy this new product. They are able to do this by putting an emphasis on the fact that you might be out of the loop until you try and buy it. In cryptocurrencies, you will see news reports of a fantastic new old coin that will increase in crazy numbers every day. And you don't want to be missing out on all those crypto gains while others, again, are picking up their new sports cars. FOMO might drive you to buy into a coin, not take profits on a coin, and not set stops on a coin that has already gone up considerably. This fear of missing out is what causes people to buy at the top or hold during a dip after making profits, only to lose some or all of their profits soon after. FOMO is incredibly relevant for the cryptocurrency market because some of the most breathtaking gains in the history of finance have been seen with these digital currencies. It is much more of a factor in the cryptocurrency market than it has in many of the other markets. This is because blockchain technology and cryptocurrencies are both still in their infancy. So many people believe that there is an enormous potential for exponential growth. Oftentimes, the investors who make the most money on an asset are the ones who bought in the earliest. FOMO is one of the most powerful factors impacting the cryptocurrency market today. Of course, it is not the only one. The FOMO surrounding cryptocurrencies is extremely strong and has been highly significant so far. And as it is tempting to trade in the latest cool crypto object, please understand, it is incredibly risky. Many of these smaller, newer altcoins are backed up by purely theoretical technology and have no real-world usage for whatever product or service they are backing. Always, always do your due diligence regarding coin news and check your facts before any investing. FUD, F-U-D, describes the spreading of fear, uncertainty and doubt, typically through media. Both of these terms apply to any situation in which fear can get in the way, but are commonly used to describe fear-based factors that get in the way of trading. It is the spreading of misinformation by uninformed sources, and these sources have their own reasons for doing so. This can be to promote an alternative coin, 
or they have shortened bet on the price going down. FUD is mostly slander and baseless accusations about a specific or many cryptocurrencies on its technology, the people behind it, or the people invested in it. The original FUD meaning was basically a public relations strategy. It focused on spreading fear, uncertainty, and doubt in order to prey on people's anxieties. In particular, a true FUD strategy manipulates people to think a certain way. Typically, this involves carefully spreading disinformation and negative propaganda in order to stir up public fear and anxiety. When it comes to cryptocurrencies, FUD takes on some very specific meanings. In particular, we're talking about how speculative and negative news affects crypto prices and trading. Simply put, it's disinformation designed to interfere with cryptocurrency trading. FUD can cause the price of a coin to drop, not based on fundamentals or charts, but based on bad news that spreads around social media. Many times this bad news isn't substantiated or grounded in reality, and instead ends up being something silly like a well-known person's opinion on any specific coin. Avoid FUD as much as you can by obtaining your crypto news from reliable sources, ones that don't have a vested interest in the coins. Use multiple sources to get a well-rounded view on any other cryptocurrencies. There's a number out there I like, but the ones that I like to look at daily are CCN.com, CryptoPotato.com, and CoinPage.com. In fact, another one which I use from now and then is the Cryptocurrency Facts, and this gives two suggestions to combat, combat FOMO and FUD trading mistakes. One, stick to the fundamentals and charts. If a coin chart looks good and the fundamentals are there, stick to your strategy and take emotion out of it. And two, notice FUD early and react accordingly. If you think the price of a coin will drop irrationally, set your stops and be prepared to buy back in on the dip. While I avoid any specific investment advice and keep things very general, please don't make trades based on your fear. However, if you predict that others will react to fear, calibrate your trading strategy accordingly. In summary, say no to FOMO, but consider the effects of FUD. My question for today is, how many times have you had FOMO? Let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know what subject you would like me to cover in the future. Until next time, this is Jamie at The Hedge Teacher, educating, inspiring people in wealth and wellness. Don't keep this a secret. Like, subscribe, share with your friends and family. You know, we have to hedge our own future. This is our time. It's an exciting time. Time for us to move forward. Until next time, see you soon.